Welcome everyone. Last week, I've switched from Windows 11 to Nobara on my gaming computer. And uh, someone asked me in the comments uh, which one was better between Nobara and Catchy OS. So I decided to try it and here's the results and I will talk about it. Welcome to RetroSocket. So right after I published my last video about switching from Windows 11 to Nobara, someone left a comment asking what about Cache OS? Is it better than Nobara for gaming? That caught my attention. I had heard of Cache OS before. It's a harsh, it's an harsh based distro that promised performance, gaming tricks out of the box, and even beautiful KDE setup. And since I love exploring Linux distros, I thought, okay, let's give it a try. The idea was simple, install CacheOS, get Steam up and running, and test a couple of games. If it worked, well, maybe I could replace Nobara as my pay. I could replace Nobara as my daily gaming distro. So I downloaded the ISO, flashed it to a USB drive and booted into the installer, experiencing a smooth modern experience like I had with Nobara and I, a little spoiler, things didn't go as planned because at first this video was supposed to be a comparison between Nobara and CacheOS, but I had some problem uh, running CacheOS, so I will just um, say something about CacheOS later in the video. So after spending some time trying to get uh, things working with, with CacheOS and not really getting anywhere, I decided to just go back on Nobara and make a fresh install. And honestly, it was such a, a relief. I reinstalled it in less than 10 minutes, no need to trick anything, no wait package to add, and terminal gymnastics. Just install, reboot, and I'm back in my working system. Steam already in the software center. A couple of clicks and it's installed. Potonju, there, driver automatically handled. Even the desktop look exactly like I left it. It just worked. And that's when I realized something very important. Sometimes you don't need the most minimal bleeding edge, tweaking everything yourself, this draw. Sometimes you just want your system to let you play games without a fight. And for that, Nobara still wins. But if you are able and you have the knowledge needed, I think CacheOS can be a good alternative for you. But for me, not really, because I just want to play peacefully. I don't want to trick my computer every time I want to play a game. So, what makes Nobara so different from all the other gaming friendly distro out there? Why does it feel so much smoother, so much easier, especially for someone like me who just want to game, trick a little and enjoy the experience without fighting my OS? Well, it all comes down to intent. Nobara isn't just Fedora Remix, it's a distro made by people who actually understand the problem gamers face on Linux. You don't have to go digging through forums just to make your controller work to figure out why your game won't load. It comes preload with all the right stuff, a pouch version of Wine, so compatibility is already better, ProtonGear support out of the box, a gaming focus kernel, 
Not pack support that doesn't get you in the way and tweaked for OBS, audio latency and input lag. It's made for creators and gamers and for someone like me who run a small home server, make YouTube video and just want to hop into BMNG or Jedi Fallen Order or other history game without reconfiguring X11 that's priceless. There's other great options out there, Cache OS has a lot of potential if you're comfortable with Arch. That's not my case. <laughs> Nobara isn't the lightest, the, fight, the fastest or the flashiest, but it's one that keep working day after day, update after update with zero drama. And sometimes that's all you need. At the end of the day, this wasn't really a destroyer. It wasn't about harsh, harsh versus Fedora, minimalism versus simplicity, or even performance numbers. It was about how each distro make you feel. Catch US feel like potential, but is also felt fragile. Like every update or install could break something, Nobara felt like home. It just work and when your system makes creating playing and learning fun again that's worth sticking with so if you're like me and you want that is true that's built for real world use and plug and play setups for games and content creation nobara is still my first pick maybe someday i'll revisit catchy os with things when things will be more stable, but for now, I'll seek with what works. Thanks again to the person who left that comment, it sparked this whole mini adventure. And thank you for watching this little Linux side quest. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and tell me which distro you would like to you would like me to try next. Subscribe if you're into retro tech, Linux, and all this stuff. And see you in the next one.